Welcome back to Inside South Florida. Looking for great concerts? Check. Preseason football? Check. Food festivals? Check plus. There are a lot of great events going on across South Florida this August, and here's Valerie Fetter with City and Shore Magazine to tell you all about it. All right, always one of our favorite segments on this show. It's great to have you back. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks. It's so great to be back. And I see you brought your friend Justin Timberlake with you I again. I did, my buddy. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we can never have enough Justin Timberlake I around here. I certainly can't. He is one of the uh, many cool acts that uh, are going to be here, one of the great things going on uh, in August in South Florida. But mm -hmm. we'll get to, j just chill, we'll get to you in a minute, <laughs> JT. Uh, the Miami Spice event, let's start with that, because that's, that's a long one. It right? is. It starts August 1st, and it runs all the way through September 30th. And this is just such a great concept, really. Some of uh, Miami's top restaurants are participating, and basically they're offering a discounted lunch and a discounted three-course dinner. Lunches are going to be $19 or $23. Dinners are going to be $33 or $39. And it's just really a great way to try some new restaurants that you may not have had a chance to. So the, the next question is, which restaurants? How do we find that out? Well, you can go to ilovemiamispice.com to see a full lineup of the over 50 restaurants that are participating. Over 50? Yeah. Wow. So all different kinds of foods. All different things, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's nice. Very okay. excited. Right. Yep, I try to try a couple of them at least each year. Yeah? Do you have a, a favorite of the ones that are going to be uh, going on this year, one you recommend? So many, honestly. I would just go and check it out online, but there's staples like Morton's that are participating. Just so many great restaurants. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, this is a, a fun one for, for parents and I guess shoppers uh, all over. Tax-free weekend. Yes, not just parents, anybody. Anyone? I'm okay. excited about this. Well, I'm thinking back this. to school stuff. But... Back to school, of course. Right. right in time for fall fashion. Yeah. Yep, tax-free weekend going on actually right now this weekend. Starts August 4th, August 2nd through August 4th. Right. And basically you're going to save the 6% Florida sales tax on anything you buy. So if by some chance you are watching this show in a time machine, <laughs> you'll have three days to do it. But if you're just yeah. watching it on this Sunday morning, you better get you better start shopping yep, today. Yeah, today's your day. You yeah. better get out there. Let's go. As soon as this is over, start shopping. Head on over. Uh, but you're, you partake? Of course. I mean, I usually don't need an excuse to go shopping, but this is a pretty good one. <laughs> right. Uh, how often? Uh, how often are, can I find you in the mall shopping? Um, I don't think I want to answer that on TV. So, like every <laughs> single day, we've had to pry you from the mall for this interview. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Tastemakers of Delray Beach. We're going north a little bit for this yes, one, we are. but it's worth it. Absolutely. This is one of my favorite events. Basically, 18 of Delray's top restaurants are participating. You buy a $30 pass, and you're going to get a sample of their signature dish and a signature beverage. And you'll also get a nice little goodie bag that has um, special discounts and opportunities to go back and visit them as well. And this takes place on Atlantic Ave? On Atlantic Avenue, yeah. exactly. Right. And, and for some of our viewers who are down in Miami who don't make it up to Delray, Atlantic Ave is a really fun place to be. It's so much fun, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like the Brickle of Miami or the Las Olas That's of Fort That's exactly what I would equate it to, yeah. exactly. It's just a casual street with lots of great dining, lots of shopping, great yeah. things to do. And there's some Bentleys, a few Maseratis, you know. Yeah, you, you find a little it bit all. of everything. Right. Okay, so uh, yes, it's your turn finally, Justin, <laughs> finally. We'll talk some concerts now. And, He's one of the big acts coming this he uh, month. He is. He's coming. Um, Justin Timberlake, Jay-Z at Sun Life Stadium on August 16th. Very excited about that. Are you going to that one? I am. Are I can't you? wait. Nice. Yes. Did you you camp out for tickets for that one? No. Or did you use your massive pull to get? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I, you did? It, it was worth it. Who uh, who do you think will bring it more, Justin or Jay-Z or just the collective? I think it's just the collective. I mean, yeah. both of them. How amazing. Yeah, and not to get political, we won't, but Jay-Z has said that he may not come back to Florida because of the stand your ground law so if you're ever going to see him now might be the, the time to do yes it, it is yeah. exactly and the concert is still on let me ask you this is justin going to do any instinct stuff because uh, <laughs> i i think i speak for everyone when i want to hear a little bye 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 <laughs> Maybe just for you. He'll have a little private concert, Dave. Yeah, come on, 90s, <laughs> 90s style. All right, so Justin and Jay-Z, and then Bruno Mars. Yeah. That dude can sing. One of my favorites. I just love yeah. him, and he'll be here on the 30th at American Airlines Arena. Yeah, and uh, you neglected one that probably didn't occur to you, but guys like me, One Republic, you know that band? I do. They're coming also. Are they? When are they going to be here? Uh, that's your job. I don't know the, the <laughs> You're dates, taking the over stuff. my job. I don't know. I think, uh, like, the, the Killers also. Yes. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Look it up. Look it up. There's too many acts. <laughs> but the Killers and also One Republic. So there's awesome. great music this month. Yeah. Um, okay. The Dolphins. Yes. A little preseason football. Finally back. Yeah. Dolphins kicking it off with the preseason games August 24th and August 29th. On the 24th, they're taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. On the 29th, they're taking on the New Orleans Saints. Very right. excited. And it's preseason, so, you know, typically who cares? But this year for the Dolphins, they have so many new players. Mm -hmm. 
especially on offense. This is big, yeah. Yeah, so this could be a big year for the Dolphins. So. I'm excited. I'm rooting for them. Are you going to go to either of those games? I am. I'm going to go to the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. Okay. Yeah. You're going gonna, to, like, paint your face, do the whole thing. <laughs> you won't recognize me. Foam finger. <laughs> We're number one. Exactly. Yeah. And you can go to MiamiDolphins.com to get your preseason tickets. Okay, cool. And then uh, let's talk poker. Yes. Seminole Hard Rock, a poker tournament. Big poker tournament. World's biggest payout. $10 million guarantee payout. Right. Very exciting. Now, it's just a measly $5,300 buy-in, of course, but if you're feeling lucky, head on over to the Hard Rock and check it out. So people can still buy in? Yes. Okay. You can buy in. $5,300. $5,300 to win you $10 million. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Obviously. And if you yeah. do win, don't forget who told you guys about it. Right. It was me. <laughs> uh, I got our final dollar. It was, it was the collective us. Yeah, we deserve, I don't know, 30%-ish. <laughs> a small cut, that's all I'll say. Do you, do you play poker? I don't. My husband does, though. Yeah? Yeah, he likes yeah. to dabble See, a little. See, but you're so happy all the time. I feel like if you got a good hand, you would never... <laughs> yeah, I would like, not ah! be a good I mean, I check. Yeah. No, I feel like you would freak out. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd have a good uh, poker face. Right. Yeah. yeah, you need to work Unless on that. Unless it's just always smiling, and then you never. And know. then you would freak people out because right. you'd be smiling with like a three and a four <laughs> and a two, and they would they wouldn't know. Um, okay, and then the last thing we have on our list is the health food festival. Yes, in Los Olas. Health-minded South Floridians can head over, closing out the month of August on the 31st. Los Solas Boulevard is holding a health food expo. Okay. And um, you're going to get to meet local health food restaurants, local farmers, um, local food producers, and really just people that are into the same health conscious eating as you are. That's kind of neat. And yeah. then how do we get details on that? Healthfoodexpo.com. Okay. Yep. And tickets are $40 to that event. Okay. And you can purchase them on that website. I think we covered it all. I know. We got a busy month and then fall. We yeah. almost made it. So basically you can eat. You mm -hmm. can shop at a reduced rate. You can uh, have more food. You can <laughs> go to concerts watch football, play poker, and have more food. I'd say that's a well-rounded month. That is a Lots serious month. Lots of good stuff month. going on. Get to it. And you can check out the full calendar of events at cityandshore.com, or you can also download the free magazine app from your Apple newsstand. Nice plug there at the end. <laughs> that was impressive. Uh, Valerie, what can I say? I'll see you in a month. Can't wait. See always, you soon. Always great. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Valerie, and that's all for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any ideas as to what stories we should cover, all you have to do is tweet us at WSFL, or you can follow us on Facebook at SFLCW and Inside South Florida. That's it for us. We'll catch you next weekend, same time, same place. And, of course, you can watch us all week from 6 to 8 a.m. on iOpener right here on SFL TV. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.